Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel once again. It's been quite a minute since the last time that I did a sit down filming video. I'm sure by the time I'm uploading this video, I would have uploaded my birthday vlog. So we are still in the birthday celebration type of mood. <laughs> so as you can see from the title of this video, I will be sharing with you guys some of my birthday presents that I got and I figured it would be a good way to have a chit chat, kind of sit down and talk video with you guys, but at the same time, let you in on how my birthday was and yeah, just chat with you guys about that. So if you're interested in seeing what I got for my birthday and just hearing a little bit more about how I spent my birthday and how people celebrated me, then definitely keep watching. So before we get into my birthday presents, I realized that I forgot to say something in the intro. I forgot to thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. Thank you so, so, so much. I recently hit 200 subscribers and I'm just so grateful. I really, really am grateful because yeah, without you guys' support, I wouldn't have the motivation to continue uploading these videos. So thank you so much for all the new subscribers, even those of you guys who have been with me from the start of this journey. And I do pray that you continue watching my videos and continue enjoying them and continue sharing them and all of that good stuff. So anyway, let's get right along to birthday presents. So some of them were just wrapped in uh, like wrapping paper so I just put them in these two bags just to make it easier. I'll start with uh, this one. So I got this cute, like what can I call it, a wall something, a wall, it's like a placard. I think <laughs> tell me in the description down below if you know what this is actually called but it says friends are tied together with heart strings and I think that this is so pretty I really do um, at the moment because I'm always moving around like from school to home to visiting people I feel like I'm never in one place but one day when I get a room that is like gonna be permanent for a while then I'll definitely put this up because with this, then that means I have to put it down, put it, put it up in my room at home, and then when I go to school, put it up again, and then when I go to my granny's, put it up again, and because I'm just all over the place throughout the year, I need a place that I can just put it forever. So I'm planning to put this in my first house. <laughs> so thank you so much for this present. You know who you, who you are, who so got this for me. Um, the next thing that I got is these two sets of nail polish this actually i got for myself <laughs> and that's okay self-love is important you guys let me know if you guys do that for yourselves as well like if it's on your birthday do you guys get yourself presents or do you just wait for people to get presents for you i really really believe in self-love and just being able to treat yourself sometimes uh for last year's birthday i took myself out for lunch and maybe I shared that on this platform already, but I took myself out for lunch and I just sat down and uh, wrote down some goals and some of the things that I wanted to achieve before my next birthday. And it was just a really good time to just think and sit and process. Um, so I really, really enjoyed doing that for myself. And everybody was, a lot of people said to me, oh my gosh, you're taking yourself out for lunch? That's really weird. But I really, really enjoyed it. And um, that was one of my most memorable birthdays because I really just got to sit be on my own, think and just plan for the following year and all of that. So I really enjoyed that. This year I didn't do that, but I did get myself these two shades of nail polish. This blue is just bay. <laughs> if you've seen any of my birthday uh, pictures, then you would see, because I was wearing open toed heels, then you would see some bluish kind of thing that I put on my toes. This is it. This is the color that I use. And then on my nails now, if you can see, I'm, I have this white one on. So these two I got for myself and I really, really, really love them so far. Um, next present I'll show you guys, I guess, is this one. As you can see, I'm not going in any particular order. But I got this mug. <laughs> and the funny thing about this present is that I never expected it. Okay, well, I guess you never really expect birthday presents, but this one has a little bit of a story behind it. So on my birthday, I was sitting in my mom's office and um, someone from church came into the office and he was chatting with us. And then um, I said to him, do you know it's my birthday? So this guy is a baker. He has like a baking business. So he makes really, really nice cakes. 
to I say to him, do you know that it's my birthday? I'll be expecting a cupcake or a cake. Uh, you know how you, my goal was to get five cakes for my birthday. I still haven't gotten the four other cakes. I'm waiting for them. <laughs> I'm still believing God for them. Anyway, <laughs> so he comes in. I tell him that I want a cupcake since it's my birthday. And he's like, are you sure all that you want is a cupcake? So I was like, uh, yeah, what else? He's like, well, we can go downstairs to the bookshop and I can get you something. So I was like, oh my gosh, that's so sweet. And I really never expected it. I was just being silly and trying to make the most of my birthday so anyway we go down to the bookshop and he picked a couple of things out um, he picked five things and he told me that I can pick what I want amongst those five things I think it was two books a CD and this mug so I decided to go with this mug because um, I liked it the most I guess because <laughs> the CD I figured I could already just download the music if I really wanted to or buy it um, but with the mug, I just thought that it was special. So this is the mug I decided to get. It says, my cup overflows with blessings, Psalm 23 verse 5. And I'm just believing that for my life, that um, my cup will overflow with blessings. And I will continue to just flourish in the blessings of the Lord. And that I will just be filled up so much with God's blessings that I will overflow. Hallelujah. Amen. If you're believing with me, type amen in the description box down below. <laughs> So that was the mug and then someone got me chocolate which I think is really sweet. I really really love chocolate. If you know me then you know that I absolutely absolutely love chocolate. So that was really sweet. And then okay I got these pair of jeans, black jeans, which I actually really like. I really 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 like. Um, I especially love this button detail at the bottom. I think it's really, really nice. Um, and I've been considering going into fashion vlogging. Um, yeah, tell me if you guys would be interested in me doing that or let me know what your thoughts are <laughs> about me doing that. But I really have been considering doing fashion vlogging. I've already been approached by an international uh, online store um, to model for them and try and sell their help them sell their stuff so I'm really really interested in going into that and I guess this is like <laughs> um, the start to that so thank you so much for these jeans I haven't tried them on yet <laughs> I do hope that they will fit me but um, they look like really good quality jeans and I think every black every girl should have a black pair of jeans in her closet so this is nice this is really nice Everything is nice. All my presents are nice. While we're still on the fashion tip, let's go to shoes. Every girl loves shoes, right, you guys? I got two pairs of heels for my birthday, which for me is exciting, because if you know me, then you know that I love shoes. So anyway, this was the first pair um, of just some black stilettos, and I've been wearing them all weekend. <laughs> So I guess that should go to tell you because today is Monday. I'm filming this video on a Monday. My birthday was on Thursday. I think I wore them on Saturday and I wore them again on Sunday. <laughs> so that should go to tell you how much I really love them. And I've been meaning to start a stiletto collection. So um, I remember mentioning it to this friend of mine like, oh my gosh, one of the things I really want to do this year is start a stiletto collection. Like I just want to collect stilettos because I have a lot of heels, just not stilettos. Um, because be previously I never liked stilettos. I just thought that the whole pointed toe shoe thing is just weird. Um, but I've developed a love for stilettos. Like I'm in love with stilettos. <laughs> so if you're still thinking of getting me a birthday present, then please, please, please feel free to get me heels because I'll be really grateful. So yeah, those are the stilettos. And then I also got this pair of heels, which I think are so nice. Um, yeah, they're really, really nice. Um, I I was thinking to myself, I probably wouldn't have, if I walked into a store, I don't think I would have gotten myself these. Uh, and there were heels, I don't think I would have gotten myself these. But when I tried them on and you know walked around in them a little bit, I was like, oh my gosh, these look so amazing on me. So even though I wouldn't have necessarily walked into a store, and bought them for myself I thought that wow they're really really nice so I really like them um, and I think that they're really really pretty and they're gold so why not why not and then in here I got this it was so cute this um, she made it I think it's it was like a self-made little boxing which is really cute 
I don't know about you guys, but I always end up losing my jewelry. That's why I'm not even wearing earrings right now because every time I buy earrings, somehow they go missing. But anyway, or even necklaces, bracelets, I never manage to keep them. I don't know why. But anyway, <laughs> I got this necklace which I think is so cute. It's just a simple gold, uh, I mean silver necklace which I think is so cute and um, I think I can just put any pendant that I want to put over here because it's, it's uh, plain. So I think that that's really nice because I can always put on a pendant that I want to put on at that particular time and take it off. So I think that's really nice. And then I got two pairs of earrings. I got these gold ones that I think are so cute. Like I think they're so cute. Um, yeah, and then I also got these gold, I mean these silver hoops, which I also think are nice. Um, I think that they're really nice. The only thing about me though is that my ears are so sensitive. So that's another reason why I don't wear earrings that much because I put on earrings and then a couple of minutes later my ears are like itching and I can't wear them for too long unless they're pure gold or pure silver. And uh, the reality is that those things are expensive y'all. <laughs> and I'm a university student so that's not going to be my first priority. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of money just to buy myself pure gold or pure silver earrings. When I was in South, it was a bit easier because um, in Diskem they have those studs that are for sensitive ears. Um, so those are what I used to buy. But again, because I can never keep jewelry, I always used to lose it. <laughs> Uh, always used to lose them. Uh, let me know in the description box down below if that happens to you as well Like are you able to keep jewelry and if you are what do you have like a jewelry box? I tried to have a Like a, one bag that I kept all my necklaces and earrings basically all my jewelry in but then it got stolen So after that I was just like oh, just it, I really lost interest in trying to be a good steward <laughs> of my jewelry because I was just like, ah oh, man, if these things get stolen, they get lost, then you lose the backing of an earring and it's just like, oh, not, not, like it just, yeah, lost interest. But I am going to try and do better at maintaining my jewelry so that I don't always have to buy jewelry over and over again. I promise if I had maintained, if I was able to take good care of all the jewelry that I've gotten over the years, I'd have loads. But now I only have like a couple of necklaces and a couple of bracelets and I don't even know if I have earrings. Maybe like one pair, like one side of an earring and then the other one is missing. But anyway, <laughs> um, I think we've moved on from the, okay, let's keep this here. I was saying that I think we've moved on from the uh, smaller presents. <laughs> I'm stuck between showing which which one to show you first of all let me show you this bag i think that this is so pretty like i just i love oh it's just so classy and it's so like 21 you know <laughs> i just think it's so beautiful this bag um and normally i don't really keep keep gift bags i used to at some point like i had a whole stack of gift bags that i'd collected over my birthdays but again because of moving countries moving cities all the time it's really hard to keep things so i ended up losing that but um I'll try and keep this bag that's the point I was trying to make because I just think it's so beautiful and you know how a lot of times you can reuse bags look I do that I don't know about you please let me know in the description box below if you do that as well like do you reuse gift bags that you've gotten or do you always buy a new gift bag when you want to give someone a present I just think it's more economical honestly to be able to just be like oh here's my I got a gift bag at some point and give it to someone obviously if it's not written in or if it's not old and stuff so that's what I used to do um I think I'll show you this first I put it down I got this key <laughs> yes yes who turns 21 and doesn't get a key right so I got this key and no it's not a key for a car well it is a key for a car but I didn't get a car that's what I'm trying to say feel free to get me one if you'd like I would not say no <laughs> but I got this key to uh, the house the family car the car at home <laughs> um, which I thought was really sweet of them um, because they were like we're giving you this key to the car so that uh, you can drive and now uh, basically all three of us have our own keys so I thought that that was really nice that I got my own key to the car um, but also it was symbolic of just a lot of things. You know how when you're given a key um, on your 21st birthday, it symbolizes a lot of things that now you're becoming responsible and becoming an 
adult and uh, the key to life as people say it so I got that key which I thought was really nice and then last I got this journal you guys <sighs> out of all my presents this is the most dear to my heart so one of my love languages is gift giving so gifts really 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 matter to me and when I'm giving gifts I guess this is why I also did this video because as I said gifts really matter to me so when I'm giving gifts I always make sure that I, I think about it I pray about it because um, I don't just want to give someone a gift so for me this gift is really dear to my heart and I know it looks like just a journal first of all it's really pretty can you look at it it's like pink and white and gold <laughs> I just think it's really really beautiful so that's what it looks like at the back it says Psalm 139 verse 14 which I haven't read yet but I do believe it says that you're fearfully and wonderfully made I believe so I think that's the verse um, and I guess it says it here as well so <laughs> evidently that's what it is but this journal is um, one that my mom put together for me and basically what she did is she got a couple of special people in my life and in her life and people in our circle um, to write 21 things for me so 21 pieces of advice or 21 movies I should watch or 21 things that I should do and stuff like that which I thought was so like I just thought it was really thoughtful and um, it's something I can keep for a lifetime and always go back to and be like oh what did that person advise me so because it's very like private and personal, I won't really show you everything, but I'll show you a little bit. So the first page is like from my mom, I don't know if you can see, it says to Trezor Davida. And for those of you who don't know, my middle name is Davida. And then it says from mama, <laughs> XOXO. And then on the date, which is my birthday, 20th of September, 2018. And then the front page is like just a note from my mom. And I'm obviously not going to show you that because it's personal. But I really wanted to show you guys this page. I think it's so beautiful. It's one of the pictures that came out from my photo shoot, my pre-birthday shoot that I did. I'll try and show you guys um, some pictures. Maybe I'll insert them somewhere here. Or you'll see them on my birthday vlog. Or if you follow me on Instagram, then I'll show it to you there. Um... For the longest time on my YouTube channel, I have not disclosed my other social media accounts because I just, that was never really the point and the purpose for me. But now, as I'm considering going into fashion vlogging, but also for these birthday pictures, then maybe I will, ins I think I will insert my Instagram handle somewhere on this video or in the description box below. So if you've been wondering, finally I've disclosed my Instagram account. But anyway, um, this is the picture just thought it was beautiful God's treasure which is the name of my YouTube channel right I think that that's just so beautiful but it's also really sweet for me because it means that I'm God's treasure and I just think that that's beautiful so initially I had been considering changing the name of this YouTube channel um, but when I got this I was like you know what I think I should just keep it to God's treasure so we're not changing the YouTube channel name anymore at least for now <laughs> so yeah this was this this is I think my favorite present so basically it's like 21 things and then advice from that person or whatever 21 things they wrote for me and then this is from my mom again um, and yeah basically just from a couple of people 21 things again um, from someone else 21 things 21 things so yeah basically that's what this journal looks like and as I said I'm not gonna show you all of it because you don't need to do that like here is 21 books I believe um, so like Crazy in Lo Crazy Love by Francis Chan, The Five Love Languages by Gary Chapman. Is it Gary Chapman? Yes. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have read that book. I haven't read it yet, but I know a little bit about love languages because I read up on it a bit. Um, but that was this this book. I would advise you what I was trying to say. Is <laughs> There's like a wasp. I don't know if you guys saw it. <laughs> anyway. Uh, not trying to get stunned today so anyway love languages by gary chapman read that book if you have not read it and i will read it too because i have not read it <laughs> but yeah this was the journal and that pretty much marks the end of all my presents there's some people who are not in the same city as me who have told me that they will send me presents or when i when we meet then they'll give me my presents 
But to everyone who gave me a present, thank you so, so much. And even for those of you guys who have stuck through this video, just watching and hearing me chat a little bit about, I guess, love languages and um, whatever else I've been losing earrings <laughs> and whatever else I chatted about in this video. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with a friend. Tell somebody about this channel. Keep subscribing. And thank you guys for all your support. Bye and God.